Welcome back everybody, Harry P. with the Driftless Homestead. Today's project will be out cutting down some ironwood trees for some shiitake mushroom logs. Once we cut the tree down, I've staged a couple of branches over here and we're going to put the trees on, the logs on there. They need to age for two weeks. Um, I think it's just mostly moisture go, leaving the logs and then we'll be able to plug them for shiitake mushrooms. Uh, this past year I put up about a hundred mushroom logs and the year before about a hundred mushroom logs. Uh, I got the new Kubota RTV, we're going to get tracks on it and next year I hope to get as many as a thousand logs uh, done so I can sell them at the farmers market and I can get some good mushrooms. So real quick I'm going to show you what kind of a tree is a ironwood tree and how you can identify it in your woods. I'm also gonna point out another tree that's real close to us here, which is an ash tree infected with the emerald ash borer. And during the winter months, like at the end of winter, the birds go crazy because they know there's bugs inside there and they're trying to get it out and they actually pick half the bark off and it really stains the tree white and you sticks out like a sore thumb in the woods and you can see where these things are really bad. Um, great firewood tree if you watch my channel and other people's uh, firewood channels. Uh, so everybody's out there trying to, to get these things. It's really windy today. In another spot on our land we actually cut down a bunch of uh, ash trees and bucked them up into firewood logs and got that all ready um, for the splitter. So. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to make a transition here because we're not supposed to cut in the woods after April 1st in Wisconsin. So I'm going to make a transition from uh, the cutting for firewood I'm going to, and I'm going to start plugging mushroom logs and then we'll, that'll lead us right into the morel mushroom hunting season. So come along with me and let's check it out. Hey everybody, this would be an ironwood tree. It's got a camera mount on it. I'll take that off before we plug it. Um, the, the bark on here is kind of blocky. This is a large ironwood tree. And um, if you look at this, since this, this is large and you know what to look for, and if you look at the branches, they tend to go straight out and they create a lot of shade. That's why the Department of Natural Resources wants us to get rid of them. But another characteristic about this ironwood tree, this is probably in Wisconsin, the hardest wood that we have in the woods um, also has the most BTUs, but it's hard to work with. That's why people don't um, cut this for firewood. Makes great mushroom logs. The other thing is the wood is really hard, but this bark is really soft. You can take this bark and rub your hands on here and rub the bark right off or the outside of the bark right off. Um, but you want to, if you're harvesting these trees for mushrooms, you want to try and not damage the bark because that's what protects the wood and keeps the moisture in the wood after you start the fruiting process. So I'm gonna cut this one down real quick. Uh, I cut four foot logs for mushrooms. This one's probably gonna give me three logs up until where it has too many branches. And then I'll just cut it up and leave it in the woods to lay and get rid of it. So. Just a second and I'll go grab my, uh, my helmet. All right, everybody, here's the ash tree I was telling you about. Ash trees usually have a darker gray, greeny 
um, type bark because there's often moss and lichen on them which gives them different spots. But you'll see on this tree here, what has happened is because the, the birds were searching for these bugs, they picked half the bark off and you get this nice whitish cream yellow contrast between that and the dark one and dark area and it really makes the tree stand out so you can see them in the woods from a long way away. Uh, if you look here, there's, there's holes. Uh, some of the holes are from the birds and some of the holes are from the actual um, beetles um, when they exit. Although, I, and it, they'll have a D-shaped hole. So most of the holes on here are from the birds picking away at the bark trying to get the uh, emerald ash borer. So folks, this tree is a young ash tree. You can see the, the lichen um, blotches on here. And kind of this green texture to it is from moss growing inside the bark. And you'll see that there's not really any picked off areas. So this one hasn't been infected or hasn't been infected very bad uh, with the ash borer yet. But it's inevitable that it's going to happen and we're going to harvest this tree for firewood as well. Not this year. We're getting too late in the season and I've got too many projects going on. Uh, we've got the firewood here, got the firewood at the house, got firewood, I'm buying a semi load of firewood. So, you know, we've got plenty of firewood and April 1st is right around the corner. So um, I need to get these mushroom logs done. I'm gonna show you one more ash tree that's just starting with the infection. So if you look at this tree, it's hard to tell. I can tell because maybe it doesn't show up on camera but I can see it. There's a few pieces of bark picked off here. So this one does have the bug in it. It's just not enough of the bug for the uh, birds to pick all the bark off like that first tree I showed you. You know, and I'll have uh, my cameraman here, Friar Buck, take a, another picture of that tree from a little bit of distance and show you how it sticks out in the woods that there's something going on there. So. What we're doing here is I'm got to, now I cut the logs, some logs, some trees, I got up to five logs out of one tree. So now I've laid a couple popple tree branches down and I'm putting ironwood logs on there so the ironwood log doesn't sit in the dirt and pick up any unwanted fungus. That way when I inoculate it with the shiitake fungus, um, the shiitake fungus should take over Um, well, we're not going to have that problem because we're stacking them up off the ground on here for two weeks and then we're going to start plugging them. So, a lot of work. Everybody, thanks for showing up today to see what we got going on here in Wisconsin with our ironwood project which is a forestry project that the DNR um, is actually underwriting me cutting out these ironwood trees they're not underwriting me as far as planting uh, shiitake mushrooms in there and I just wanted to show you a couple things in the woods like what's going on with the ash trees and um, another valuable resource you know um, in the woods so if you like what you see, hit that like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. Then you can follow up by going and seeing what we got going on on Facebook and then what we have on Instagram. I'd appreciate it and share that with your friends as well. 
um, different platforms you can you can follow up with us on. Thanks for showing up today.